హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఈసీ అకాడమీ ఇన్ దిస్ లెక్చర్ లెట్ అస్ అండర్స్టాండ్ మాస్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్ స్విచెస్ ఇన్ విఎల్ఎస్ఐ డిజైన్ హియర్ విల్ అండర్స్టాండ్ హౌ మాస్ ట్రాన్సిస్టర్స్ acts as a switch in digital circuits which is an essential concept of vlsi design here first we'll understand n mos and p mos acting as a switch later we'll understand about transmission gate before understanding how mos transistor act as a switch we'll understand few concept in digital circuits high voltage which is usually a logic one is 5 volts which is referred as vdd or it is known as power a low voltage is usually logic 0 which is 0 volt which is represented as vss is referred as ground so before understanding the concept of switch you need to remember 5 volt is logic 1 in a digital circuit which is represented as VDD, which is known as power and logic zero is zero volt, which is represented as VSS, which is known as ground. The metal oxide semiconductor transistor acts as a switch in digital circuits in VLSI design. In the MOS transistor, the gate terminal will determine whether the switch is on or off. So metal oxide semiconductor transistor acts as a controlled switch in digital circuits. Here the gate terminal will determine whether the switch is on or off. First let us understand NMOS transistor as a switch. This is the representation of N switch. So this is an NMOS and this is the representation of operation of N transistor as a switch. Here the gate terminal is represented as S which act as a switch. So here the gate terminal will determine whether the switch is on or off. When gate input is 1, at that case the transistor will be on. That's why the switch can close and the current can flow from source to drain. When gate terminal is 0, at that case NMOS will be off. So when switch is equal to 0, NMOS will be off. That's why it will act as open switch. When gate is applied with logic 1, the NMOS will be on and it will act as closed switch. And when gate is applied with logic 0, NMOS will be off and it will act as open switch. So for a closed switch, the current can easily flow from source to drain. Here let us understand the signal behavior. So here the last figure shows the signal behavior of NMOS transistor. When the NMOS is on and when input is equal to 0, at that case the NMOS will conduct the low signal very well. So we can say it has a good passing of logic 0. So for logic 0, NMOS conducts low signal very well. When the signal is 1, Due to thresholding in the NMOS, the voltage drop will occur. Hence, the output voltage is weak. So, there will be imperfect passing of logic 1. This is due to threshold voltage drop. For example, if VDD is equal to 5 volt and threshold voltage of NMOS transistor is 1 volt, the output voltage will be equal to VDD minus VTH that will be equal to 5 volt minus 1 volt that's why the output voltage will be around 4 volt so there will be a voltage drop across the output due to threshold voltage of NMOS transistor so we can say when the input is 0 it has output as 0 which is good so when the input is 1 the output is poor due to voltage drop across the NMOS transistor due to threshold voltage. So you need to remember NMOS transistor is good in passing logic 0. 
Now let us understand the working of PMOS transistor as a switch. This is the representation of P switch and this is the PMOS transistor where gate will act as a switch. Here when gate terminal is applied with logic 1, the PMOS transistor will be off and it will act as open switch and when gate terminal is applied with logic 0 then the PMOS will be on and it will act as closed switch. So here when the gate terminal is applied with logic 1 then the PMOS will act as open switch and it will be off and when the gate terminal is applied with logic 0 the PMOS will act as closed switch and the PMOS will be on. Now let us understand the signal behavior of PMOS transistor. Here when the gate terminal is applied with logic 0 the PMOS will turn on and once the PMOS is on and if the input is 0 the output will be degraded hence we will get the poor output 0. Here degradation of output will occur due to threshold voltage. When the PMOS is on and when logic 1 is applied then the PMOS can easily pass the signal and we will get a good output which is logic 1. So PMOS has a good passing for logic 1 hence it passes the high signal very well and it has imperfect passing for logic 0 due to threshold voltage. So here you need to remember the PMOS transistor has good passing for logic 1. So you need to remember NMOS transistor has a good passing for logic 0 and PMOS transistor has good passing for logic 1. So individually they are having the limitations where NMOS has imperfect passing for logic 1 and PMOS has imperfect passing for logic 0. Now let us understand the transmission gate which is also known as complementary switch. We understood that NMOS is good at passing 0 and PMOS is good at passing 1. So to overcome the individual limitations we will go with transmission gate. So transmission gate is the parallel combination of NMOS and PMOS transistor and it is controlled by two complementary signals. Control signal C goes to NMOS gate and it will control the NMOS transistor and C bar goes to PMOS gate and it will control the PMOS transistor. So individually NMOS and PMOS are good in passing 0 and 1 respectively. So to overcome this disadvantage we will go with a transmission gate which is the parallel combination of NMOS and PMOS transistor. So we will use NMOS and PMOS in parallel combination so which will form the transmission gate. Along with this we have two controlled complementary signals which is C and C bar. Here C is applied to gate of NMOS and C bar is applied to gate of PMOS. That is why it is also known as complementary switch. So this is the representation of transmission gate or complementary switch. So here we are having a parallel combination of NMOS and PMOS along with two control switches. One is applied to NMOS which is C and another is applied to PMOS which is C bar. So always these control switches will be complement to each other. So which means when we apply C as 1, C bar will be 0 and when we apply C as 0, C bar will be equal to 1. When C is equal to 1 and C bar is equal to 0, both the transistors will be on. If we say both the transistor is on, both the transistor will act as closed switch. Signal will pass through the transmission gate. 
when c is equal to 0 and c bar is equal to 1 both the transistor will be off hence both transistor will act as open switch hence no signal will pass here nmos is good at passing 0 and pmos is good at passing 1 that's why whenever the transmission gate is passing the signal when input is 1 pmos will pass this signal and when the input is 0 nmos will pass the signal hence we will get good output for 1 as well as logic 0 so we can say transmission gate is more powerful because nmos and pmos can together pass both logic 0 and logic 1 with minimal degradation hence the output will be strong for both high signal and low signals so we can say the transmission gate is ideal in digital circuits so we can say transmission gate is ideal for signal switching in digital circuits since there is no signal degradation hence the transmission gates are used in multiplexers flip-flops and pass transistor logic gates this is about mos transistor switches in vlsi design hope you have understood the topic thank you